What's the safari? Damn. Looks like they got a good turnout. What's the safe word? What's the safe word? I don't know if that's a good thing. I mean, it might make it harder or easier to slip out of there. The safe word. No safe word. Look, when we're ready to go, we just go. You gonna answer it? Yeah, it's just my brother. Probably wondering where we're at. We're almost two hours late. Yeah, there's no real start time to these things. You know, it's a house party. Your father's retirement party. I'm sure he was expecting you to be here by now. Nah. Pulling up now, bro. How do I look? Too much? Should I have worn the other? Oh, hell no, you look good. Uh-oh. Too good. I don't want no problems. No, you're fine. I don't want to be over the top again. No, you look fine. You know how your mother and sister can be. Yeah, well, my sister's on drugs, so take that with a grain of salt. This haircut? You bad. Your mama thinks short hair on women looks masculine. You know everything. I'm hypersensitive. This is true. What did your brother say? Hmm? You tensed up. Oh, just some silly shit. Nothing foreign of him. What kind of wine is this? Some shit nobody's ever heard of, but it's expensive, so they'll approve. Look, when we go inside, don't mention anything about the deal. Just got an email. We closed. I don't need them thinking we're trying to one-up anybody at my father's retirement party. God forbid. Got it. This one deal alone, I'll be making more than my, my father and my brothers combined. And you'd think they'd be proud. Yeah, well, you can't be too proud when it's not happening to you. You're their youngest son who just closed another multi-million dollar deal. Something about that does something to the ego. Trust me, they'll Google the wine. Uh, look at me. I'm missing a whole ass earring. Rushing. You were rushing me. <sighs> oh, no, no, no. Leave it on. You can pull that off, the one earring look. Mm, I feel incomplete. See, now my mood is... Just chill. You all right? This motherfucker went to Spain? Who? Oh, uh, nothing, just... You said something about Spain. I know Spain happens to be the place you wanted to take your ex. Okay. And propose. You're still following him. Is he texting you? He, he said hi. Why are you even still communicating? I understood it was in the past. It is. Not if you're presently talking to him. Do you follow him? No, I don't. No. He said hi. And I mean, did I scroll through his timeline a little bit? Yeah, I mean, okay, sure.
This is dangerous territory. And by that, you mean? Mulling over the past. Entertaining the what-ifs. The trouble is you're proclaiming to have moved on. But have you? If that was the case, you'd be able to make a clean break. No curiosity, no snooping to see what his life's like now. Did it miraculously become this Disney world of perfection with the entrance of a new lover? Ooh, let me look to confirm it hasn't, so I still feel good about myself and our breakup. If you need that reassurance, then you're not over it. Look, he popped into my inbox. Okay, I just, I, I scrolled through for a quick welfare check, that's all. Welfare? What are you, a social worker now? Look, when you care for someone, you never stop caring. And anybody who says anything different is lying. Does that mean I'm dwelling in the past or fantasizing about the future? No. Just looking. Need I remind you, your parents didn't approve. Yeah, well, that's not saying much. And here I am sweating about a haircut. You told me to remind you if this happened. If you started to... I know what I said. This is not that. Well, am I just arm candy? No. Here to make you look good in front of your parents and siblings at these bougie soirees? No. A plaything? No. Then what? My fiancé. Are you asking me to marry you? Put this on. It's not very romantic. Look here. Why? Because I... You want to make everybody really believe you've moved on with a beautiful woman. Perfect, might I even Put it on. No. Excuse me? Get down on one knee. We're in a car. I know that. But you're asking me to be your wife. Happy life, happy wife. Just for tonight. So I am just for show. Why are you being so difficult? If I understand it, you're supposed to be committed to me. But you're still pining over and communicating with your ex. Now you propose marriage. Or just a ring. But only for tonight. It's rather confusing. And I'm being difficult. Put the ring on. Thank you. You're welcome. like the way I'm feeling right now. I don't want to talk about feelings. I do. Is it that ironic? How is that? Well, you're smart. You should be able to tell me. It depends on what you're referring to. One moment, please. I can withhold sex, you know. A moment. I can go in here and do as you would like. Play the part, stay in my lane. Or the better part of me would very much like to tell them all the dark parts about you that would utterly disturb them. Destroy them honestly. You say a lot of things. And something you said tonight rings true. About ego. That ego is a bitch, isn't it? And to think, I can be all things to you. For you. But did it miss you that I too can have an ego? I feel. But you don't want to talk about feel. Well then. Instead, let's talk about shrimp cocktail. What? Shrimp cocktail. Coming alone. Wondering 
Central, I don't.